friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. So excited for this week's recipes. I'm going to be showing you my breakfast, my lunch, a muffin that is delicious, and the snacks that I'm planning to bring with me this next upcoming work week. I am only working four days because I'll actually be traveling back from Seattle on Monday, but you're gonna see almost an entire week's worth of meal prep. So if you wanna see everything that's on my plan for the upcoming week to stay on track, all you have to do is stay tuned. So the first thing I'm doing for meal prep this morning is going to get some eggs hard boiled. I'm gonna take them as part of my breakfast. So what I do is I do the 555 method. So I'm going to do the egg setting, which automatically turns our Instant Pot on for five minutes. And then I'm gonna do five minutes of natural release here at the top and then I will put them in an ice bath for five minutes and it makes absolutely perfect boiled eggs, super easy to peel. So this is the first thing I'm getting started this morning. Once your eggs have natu naturally released for five minutes, you're gonna go ahead and add them to an ice bath for an additional five minutes. It's okay if you leave them in the ice bath longer. And then they literally peel so easy, so we'll have these ready for part of our breakfast. Now let's put together our overnight oats. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be making coconut strawberry overnight oats. So excited about these. The last time that I made the overnight oats, the PB&J, they were so good. So I'm super excited to have this for breakfast. I'll be pairing this with a fruit and the hard boiled eggs. So let me show you what I am putting in my coconut strawberry overnight oats. So first I'm gonna be adding in some frozen sliced strawberries. In my opinion, it's best to use frozen fruit in overnight oats because the liquid, once it starts to thaw, adds that nice flavor to your oatmeal. I'm also going to be using the Tone It Up Coconut Protein, unsweetened organic flaked coconut, of course, old fashioned oats, do not use quick cook oats, just use regular old fashioned oats. I'm going to be using some of my sugar-free honey, chia seeds, and lastly, some toasted coconut almond milk from Califia Farms. So let's get our overnight oats put together. So let's get started on our overnight oats. So I'm going to start with one quarter of a cup of oatmeal. Because my jars are a little bit smaller, I don't wanna to go too crazy, and it also keeps the smart points down. So one quarter cup of oatmeal. I'm also going to add just shy of one scoop of the Tone It Up Coconut Protein Powder. It's kinda messy, guys. We're also going to add one tablespoon of unsweetened coconut. I'm basically adding all of my dry ingredients to the bottom first. And then we're going to add two teaspoons of chia seeds. And then to that, we are going to add one half of a cup of your almond milk or whatever milk that you've decided to use. And that's gonna get it pretty darn full. Let that kind of seep down to the bottom of your jar. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your frozen fruit. I'm gonna use some strawberries. You can just add as many as your container that you're making your overnight oats in will hold. So I'm probably gonna add just four or five pieces. And then lastly, I'm going to add one teaspoon of this sugar-free honey. And that's it. Look at how amazing those look. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and put on your lid to your ball jar. Give it a good shake. Let it get nice and mixed together. Most important is to go ahead and add your dry ingredients to the bottom of your jar so that they have a chance to mix in. So you're just gonna give that a nice good shake until everything is fully combined and then you're ready to throw it into your fridge and it'll be ready to go the next day. Just make sure that on the bottom of your jar you don't have a bunch of powder and also along the sides of your jar you don't have a bunch of powder. So just give that a nice quick few shakes and you are good to go. And there you go my friends, coconut strawberry protein overnight oats. So here are my breakfasts for this week. So 
First, I have one of my overnight oats, and with all of the ingredients that I added to my oats, they are only five smart points. That is not bad considering you're having oatmeal and protein powder all in one delicious breakfast. So my overnight oats are five smart points. Quick pro tip on the oats, Frozen fruit is better than fresh fruit in my opinion. Once it starts to thaw in the oats, it adds a really good flavor throughout the entire oatmeal. And second tip, make sure you give it a really big shake. So I'm going to have one of my overnight oats each day. I also am going to have one to two hard boiled eggs. I may only eat the yolk of one egg and eat the white of another but that will give me that added boost of protein. And then I'm going to have a bag of grapes. So this is going to be my breakfast for this upcoming week. And it is a total of five smart points. For my lunches this week, I'm going to be making pizza bagels. Super excited to make these. I'm gonna do these in my air fryer. They are super low points, delicious about a quarter of the points of the traditional bagel bites that you buy at the grocery store. So let me show you what I am going to be topping and making my bagel bites with. So first you're going to need some marinara. I'm going to use the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. I will have that recipe linked down in the description box below. You're also going to need some of the Western bagel baglets. These are the miniature bagels. So this is the size of them. So they are absolutely perfect for little bagel bites. I'm going to be having two mini bagels or baglets per day. These are the wheat. Two of these baglets is only three smart points. Western bagel, you guys, amazing. They have these baglets but then they also have full size bagels. These particular ones are my all time favorite. These are the perfect 10 plus these bagels for a full size bagel is only two smart points. So you can do full size bagels or you can do the baglets. I do have a discount code for Western Bagel that will give you 10% off. And if you take advantage of their $37 special, that includes free shipping. You can pick six bags of the bagels, whatever kind you want, the baglets, the full size, whatever you'd like, and you get an additional 10% off using my code and free shipping. I don't know how much longer they'll have that promotion, so I recommend hopping onto westernbagel.com, ordering some bagels. They're amazing, I eat them all the time. They're super good. They range anywhere from one point to three points, depending on the type of bagel. I'm also going to top my bagel bites with some pineapple tidbits, some Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella, and some Canadian bacon. I'm going to make a Hawaiian style bagel bite and then I'm also going to top it with some of the Dax Italian Blast. This seasoning is amazing. All of Dax is no salt added seasoning but the flavor profile is so good. Literally delicious. My discount code for Dax is on the screen and down in the description box below. They have over 20 different spices all of which are loaded with flavor all of which have zero salt, and you can get 10% off and free shipping with my code. So check out Dax. For a veggie, I'm gonna be adding some of these mixed vegetables, frozen to my meal prep container, and I'll just warm it up when I'm ready to eat. And I'll also be having some sort of a dessert item, so I will show you my meal prep once we are done. So let's get started on our Hawaiian pizza bagel bites. So to get started on our pizza bagels, you're gonna go ahead and pop open your Western Bagel Baglets, get your marinara, your Canadian bacon, pineapple, cheese, and Dax. So essentially what we're going to do is we are going to add a little bit of marinara to each side of our pizza bagel. You don't wanna to add too much because you don't want it to make your bagel soggy even before it has a chance to go into the air fryer. So go ahead and add on some pizza sauce and you're going to do that on both sides of your little baguette and again i'm using the crock pot marinara zero points once you add on your pizza sauce i'm going to go ahead and add a slice of my canadian bacon that way i can add my toppings to the top of that it is three slices of canadian bacon for one smart point so i'm going to go ahead and do that Top that with just a few little pieces of the pineapple tidbits. 
and then we'll top it with a little bit of cheese. And my plan is to divide one ounce of the Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese between all four halves of my baguettes. So I'm literally going to just put a teeny little bit on each half of my baguette. And then lastly, I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of the Dax Italian Blast seasoning. And that's just going to give it that little extra oomph of flavor. And then these are ready to go in to the air fryer. So look at how amazing these look. I'm going to be having four halves each day. So I'm just gonna pop that over here onto my air fryer tray. Again, I have the oven style, so mine go on these little trays rather than in the basket. So let me get the rest of these made up and we'll get these into the air fryer. So we're ready to get these into the oven. So I've added one tray of them to the top rack. Here is my second tray. These look so good, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in on the bottom rack. And then midway through cooking, just like you would shake your basket of your air fryer, I'm going to rotate and put the bottom tray on the top to get it nice and crispy. So go ahead and close the door. My air fryer is always linked down in the description box below in my Amazon store. So I'm gonna set it at 400. We're gonna let it go the traditional 50 minutes and I'll just keep my eye on it you can always pop your light on to take a look and see how I just pulled my bagel bites out of the air fryer look at these yum I cannot wait to have these for lunch so I'm gonna let these cool a little bit I'll get them loaded up in my meal prep container with my veggies and my dessert and fruit and show you my completed lunch so here are my completed lunches for the week these look amazing so I have two little bagels so that is four halves which is a total of two of the baguettes and then i've got some veggies some dessert and some fruit so my pizza bagel bites is a total of five smart points for four halves that is three smart points for the baguette one for the cheese and one for the canadian bacon my veggies, I just threw those in frozen. I'll add a little bit of spray butter, salt, and pepper. And then I have one of my Detour Lean Muscle Bites. This one is M&M, and I also have cookie dough. These are linked down in my Amazon store. I love them. They are two smart points. And then I will have my second fruit of the day, and I've sliced up a few strawberries. So my entire lunch for the pizza bagels, the veggies, the Detour Bite, and the strawberries is a total of seven smart points. That's it for this lunch. And doesn't it look so good? For one of my snacks this week, I'm gonna be making chocolate covered strawberry muffins. Super excited about these. These are so low points. Wait until you guys see the finished muffin and I tell you the smart points. So here is what is in our chocolate covered strawberry muffins. So first you're going to need some strawberries, fresh or frozen. You're also going to need some Kodiak, buttermilk, flapjack, and waffle mix. Almond milk of your choice. Sugar-free honey, or you can use agave or any type of liquid sweetener. One egg, some coconut oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Trader Joe's. And lastly, you're going to need some Lily's chocolate chips. So let's make some muffins. So to get started on our chocolate covered strawberry muffins, you are going to need two cups of buttermilk Kodiak cake mix. So we'll add that. You're going to need one cup of almond milk or whatever milk alternative you choose to use. You are going to need one egg and I recommend just kind of cracking the egg first to avoid getting any shells. And then you're also going to need one tablespoon of melted coconut oil. And lastly, you're going to need one tablespoon of sweetener. You can use regular agave or regular honey. Just adjust the points accordingly. This is only one smart point 
per tablespoon. And I did purchase this honey off of nettrition.com. So you're gonna add everything to your bowl, give it a good mix. We don't wanna over mix our muffins only because they will come out spongy. Once you get your batter all nice and combined, we're gonna gently fold in our strawberries and our chocolate chips, and then we'll be ready to put our muffins into the oven. So get everything nice and combined. Once your batter is mixed together, you're gonna go ahead and add in your strawberries. I went ahead and cut them up into smaller chunks just so that we got a little bit of strawberry in every muffin rather than having so many big chunks of strawberries. So you wanna fold those in nice and gently and then we'll add our chocolate chips directly to our muffins. So there is our strawberry Kodiak muffin mix. Let's get this ready to go into the oven. Once you're ready to put your muffins together, you're gonna go ahead and line your muffin pan. These are silicone muffin liners. I just purchased these off of Amazon. I do have them linked down in my Amazon store below. These are amazing, nothing sticks to them. You don't have to spray them with anything. You just pop in your liner, put in your mix. So I'm going to scoop in my muffin mix with my larger scoop here. I also purchased these off of Amazon. They come in a three pack of different sizes. It is also in my Amazon store. So we're gonna go ahead and get a good scoop of our muffin mix and pop it in to our silicone liner. And we're gonna do that until all of our liners are full. I'm not sure how many muffins we're going to get out of our mix, so we'll just kinda have to see. But I'm gonna get these all filled up and then we'll pop in our chocolate chips. Once you have all of your muffin cups filled, it made 12 muffins total. We are going to take some of our Lily's chocolate chips. You can have up to 13 chips for one smart point. So I'm only going to pop in seven or eight per muffin, so it will add an additional zero smart points so basically I'm going to kind of push them into the muffin mix because I want to make sure that they stay and don't fall off when we pull it out of the oven so there is eight chips I'm just gonna give it a good push and then we've got chocolate covered strawberry muffins we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 for 15 or 20 minutes or until they are cooked completely through I just pulled the chocolate covered strawberry muffins out of the oven. These look so delicious. Look at that. Chocolatey, strawberry. These are big muffins. So I'm gonna let these cool. I'll show you how easily they come out of these silicone liners. And again, these are linked in my Amazon store. And then I will give you the smart points. So here are our muffins. And literally all you do to take these out is pull down the liner and the muffin literally pops right out. So these liners are amazing. I usually will just hand wash them. They come in a little box, that's where I store them. But these muffins, so good you guys, so good. These are only two smart points a piece. Two smart points for a chocolate covered strawberry muffin. And these even have protein. So that makes them a better choice for a snack. So definitely highly recommend making the chocolate covered strawberry muffins. So here's what I'm gonna be taking for snacks this week. Again, I am only working four days because we are traveling to or back from Seattle on Monday. So here are my snacks. So first I'm gonna be taking some of the light and fit Greek yogurt and I'm going to top that with some of my favorite granola. This is the Julian Bakery Vanilla Cluster. I really like this flavor. It goes in everything because it's your basic vanilla. So they also have peanut butter and espresso and vanilla blueberry cinnamon, which are all amazing. And they actually just came out with a chocolate granola. So that is on my list. So I'm going to top it with just about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons worth of the Julian Bakery Granola. This granola, you can actually have an entire half of a cup for only two smart points. So it will actually be zero points for the tablespoon or tablespoon and a half that I add to the top of my granola. Just gives it, or my yogurt, it just gives it that nice crunch. You can order Julian Bakery through the link down in the description box. Use the discount code here on the screen. Once you go in to the Julian Bakery website through the link in the description box at the checkout, you will enter the code here on the screen and it will give you 10% off your order and 
free shipping. So if you haven't tried the Julian Bakery or you're running low, don't let yourself ever run out. Hop on julianbakery.com, use my link in the description box and code and get 10% off free shipping. So that is one of my snacks. I'm also going to be bringing a few bags of baby carrots just for an extra vegetable. I didn't have any vegetables in my breakfast, so I decided to have another vegetable for a snack. And then of course, as always, I'm going to be having Built Bar as my morning snack. Again, the only thing that keeps me full between breakfast and lunch is my Built Bar. I love them in the fridge. I love them frozen. Built Bar just came out with a brand new flavor that will be launched tomorrow, Tuesday, April 23rd. So stay tuned for that. Built Bars are only three smart points. They have 15 grams of protein, four, or I'm sorry, six grams of fiber, and just four grams of sugar in the entire bar. So that makes them only three smart points and they literally taste like a candy bar. I do have a discount code for Built Bar. It is now a permanent code that forever and ever will get you 10% off and free shipping. It is here on the screen and all of the discount information is always, always down in the description box below. So it is time to restock your Built Bars or if you've yet to try them, now is the time. You'll save 10% and get free shipping. So these are the snacks that I'm going to bring to tide me over throughout this next work week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing those overnight oats. All of my muffins, strawberry, chocolate, yum. And of course, my Hawaiian pizza bagel bites for lunch. Cannot wait for my meals this next week. This is the type of food that feels like you're cheating, but you're not. And the best part about it is it keeps you on track so that you're not tempted by other food that may come your way during the week. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. I would love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this week's meal prep what's on your plan for the week. And of course, I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye guys.